So this planter of Lophophora will be used for the experiment to see the effects of a daily dose of 12 milligrams per milliliter. I won't be applying a milliliter, it'll be probably 1 20th of a milliliter of the extracted mimosa hostilis uh, root bark and there's the control which is these two a once weekly application for these two and a daily application for these two rows these dividers here to each these are the chemically treated seedlings from my previous experiment planter and they won't have anything applied to them they are just so that can keep uh, control over where they are and I know the, these were chemically treated seedlings so just on a whim I did apply this extract on these astrophytum and these lophophora and as with other experiments of mine i've noticed that the lophophora are a bit more sensitive to any sort of chemical treatment the astrophytum i'm not sure if it's an actual effect of the treatment or not but the white trichomes are quite orange reddish it does seem to grow out of it I'm not sure if it's a direct effect and the, the tone of the the green flesh is also different it's quite flat and it's more blue green than the regular green tone that the astrophytum have and with the lophophora I, I think it's just because of the apex being damaged from the application all of the damaged apex are obviously pupping it's i don't want to uproot these but it would be interesting to see if uh, the pupping does occur on the intact apex <coughs> you can see a small pup there but the apex is damaged so it is a pretty common occurrence but we'll see if this translates even if the apex isn't damaged so again this is just an experiment I haven't seen any uh, anything similar to it what I did find out is that this class of molecules there may be a higher uh, efficiency if I were to apply to a hydroponic solution the root uptake seems to be much higher but I'm just going to do a application to the apex just moistening the, the top flesh so it'll only be applied to these again this is the control once weekly application and a daily application I think I'll carry this out for a month applying so this would be four applications and this would be around 30 and if I skip a day it's not a big deal and then I will observe any possible changes or effects from the application for approximately a year and then I'll see if there is any effect on these plants I originally did want to do a mimosa extract and a cactus extract but I had trouble with the cactus extract using the silo uh, extraction method I found out recently that I have a sodium citrate contamination on the, my final product because I use in excess of sodium carbonate so I just discarded all of my previous extraction data you know I have to re re-extract everything to start collecting data that's usable I'll 
I'll be using the cash cash acid base extraction using xylene and I'll end up with a hydrochloride salt so I did I did do a few extractions on my trichosis series but I am just disregarding everything since most likely the final weight is skewed from the possible sodium citrate contamination it works it works great for many people for most people but since the beginning I've had trouble with the silo extraction and I just I'm just tossing out that idea and I'm using the cash extraction for now so the idea behind this in general is uh, I believe that alkaloids in general are possibly used as growth regulators in plants. I'm not sure if there will be any transi translation between uh, application here since these don't produce this alkaloid. But in the future I do want to experiment with the cactus extract applied to these to test the theory if I stress them and they have an extraneous amount of the alkaloid that they produce if they will respond differently to the stresses versus a control that doesn't have an extraneous amount applied to the plant. But yeah, this is just the alkaloid that I have and in the future I may reapply using the cactus extract.